this question drove me mad. This question drove me mad properly when I tried solving it. I thought I was kept looking for cute methods. They just they just weren't there. Right? Let's attack this. Ani Ankita buys four kilograms of cashews and peanuts. She buys fourteen and almonds. She buys six kgs of. The cost of seven kilograms of cashews, seven C, is equal to thirty P, thirty kilograms of peanuts, equal to nine kilograms of almonds. She mixes all the three nuts and marks the price for the mixture in order to make a profit of one seven five two. One seven five two is the profit she wants to make. How many kilograms she has? Four plus fourteen plus six, eighteen plus six, twenty four kilograms. And she wants to make a profit of one seven five two. That much, that much profit, that much money she wants to make, which is rather nice. She sells four kilograms of the mixture at this mark price, and the remaining at a twenty percent discount on mark price. That's making a profit of seven forty four. She wants profit of one seven five two. She gets profit of. Seven forty-four. So she falls short. Why? Because she is not selling the whole thing at some rate. She is selling twenty percent. She sells four kilograms at this price, and remaining at a twenty percent discount at mark price. And that delta is thousand and eight. Totally, there are twenty-four kilograms. Remaining twenty kilograms, she sells at a discount of twenty percent of mark price. That will be her de deficit shortfall. So twenty kilograms and twenty percent discount of market mark price gives us thousand and eight. So let's find mark price from here. Twenty into twenty percent of mark price equal to rupees one thousand eight. Mark price per kilogram of the mixture. That's what we know. Twenty is one by five. This is four times mark price equals rupees thousand and eight. Five hundred and two by divided by two is five hundred and four. Two fifty two or mark price per kilogram is rupees two fifty two. Brilliant. She is selling twenty four kilograms. She wants to sell twenty four kilograms at this price. If she had done it, then she would have got one seven five two as profit. She is not able to. She discounts and sells this, and therefore makes seven forty four kilograms profit. Now, what do we need to find? The amount in rupees that she had spent in buying ad. To find this amount she spent in that, for which I think we'll have to use this seven C equal to thirty P equal to nine A. I'm going to make this to be equal to some other number to get the ratio. And so seven and thirty are co-prime. Seven into thirty is two ten. Another three here, which takes us to six thirty. I'm going to call this equal to six thirty K or C price of cashew six thirty by seven ninety K. Price of peanuts is six thirty by thirty, sixty three by three, twenty one k. Price of I mean six thirty by nine, just seventy k. The per unit pricing is in the ratio ninety is to twenty one is to seventy. Ninety k, twenty one k, seventy k. That's a per unit pricing. Right so. And then we'll have to do 20, into 24 kilograms. Think about profit. Profit going to 1752, and then come back to this proper pain in the neck. Right? So, but let's attack it. So I'm going to rewrite this question. Cashews 4 kilograms. Peanuts 14 kilograms. Almonds 6 kilograms. Per kg on a per kg price. Price per kilogram. This is 90 k. Twenty one k, seventy k. Ninety k, twenty one k, seventy k. So how much does she spend? She spent total of three sixty k. Fourteen into twenty one. Fourteen ones are fourteen. Four one. Fourteen twos are twenty. Fourteen twos are twenty eight. Twenty nine two ninety four. This is four twenty. We add these three. This is four eleven. Plus six seventeen seven one four plus two six plus four ten one zero seven four k. 
That's a total amount of money she spent, of which Ammons alone is 420. Nice. Now she's we still not done it. We, thought, we need to find the amount of money she has spent. This amount of money she has spent, and then she makes the total amount of profit she makes. This the total cost. Oh, sorry, what do we do here? Give me a second. Total makes a profit of 1752 by marking it up at 252 per kilogram. So 252 into 24 is the total selling price and then our total profits is 1752. Subtract this from this, we will get total cost price. That number equal to 1074k. From that, we will have to find 420k, which happens to be the amount of money she spent in buying amounts. So it's a right royal pain, pain in the neck. So let's figure this out. 280, 294, everything seems to be fine so far. I don't think we've made any computation mistake yet. Okay. So 252 into 24, 24 twos are 48, 8, 4, 120, 124, 4, 12, 48, 60, 6048 minus 1752. This is 8 minus 2 is 6, 15 minus 5 is 9, 9 minus 7 is 2, 4 minus 1 is 3, 3, 3, 5 minus 1 is 4, sorry, 4, 2, 9, 6, our total cost price is 4, 2, 9, 6 and our that is 1074k, we need to find 420k. Our cost of all the almonds is 420 by 1074 into 4296. This is a lovely idea here. 74 into 4, 7 to 70 into 4 is 280 plus 16 to 96. Lovely. Despite this is 4. 420 by 4 is 840 into 2, 1680. Finally, we get lucky. 1680. Absolutely painful, really brute force question. We've taken this question in the exam. We're in for it. I tried for a bunch of iterations and trying to get cute methods. I didn't find any cute method. I doubled down and said, look, there aren't any cute methods. Let me put five, let me hang in there and do something. And then I, I, I brute force my way into step by step getting this ratio, plugging this ratio back in, finding the overall cost finding the mark price and then doing the whole shiver. Super tough question. Hush.